guys uh, welcome back to another video I'm starting to do the uh, sound treatment on the floor already got the uh, sound editor down which we've covered in other episodes uh, so today getting a start on uh, putting down the mass loaded vinyl I'm going to use uh, two two styles one is a, um, a is a thin or a thinner mass loaded what they call mass loaded vinyl light and, uh, and then a thicker version which I'll use out the front near the firewalls and uh, closer to the engine um, depending on uh, what will fit under the carpets and the seats and things like that so um, just cut out the piece for the back seat uh, that's essentially one full sheet just with holes cut into it so it fits pretty neatly uh, across the middle there um, I'm going to treat these side parts where it's a bit more complicated with uh, acoustic foam and just um, have the uh, vinyl on the flat areas covering the area where most noise will come through so um, so making a start on that uh, need to do the transmission tunnel I'll have to pull out the front console to uh, test fit that to see just how much room we've got underneath it and I'll work my way back from the back seats uh, through to the front so uh, that's the plan today um, pretty simple process just laying down the uh, the vinyl, uh, vinyl and uh, pressing it out to find out the pieces that need to be cut out and then using a Stanley knife to, um, to cut those out and uh, and test fit as, uh, as we go along. So uh, I'll get uh, working on that and come back later with an update. Okay guys, so I've got the, uh, the sound treatment along the uh, rear, rear seat area now all done so um, the vinyl in the middle, little access piece for the low pressure fuel pump um, and the foam along the side here uh, making sure we cut out uh, the little attachment holes there so that's pretty much done um, I think what I'll do now is work on these pillars these rear pillars and uh, get them all back in so I can get the back seats on because all of this part at the back is now finished and um, I can start working from the back of the car to the front uh, so there's another piece done I'll uh, get onto the pillars and things and uh, come back give you an update when that's all in cheers hey guys I'm going to uh, reinstall the C pillars or whatever you call these things uh, back in around the um, around the top of the parcel shelf and the rear window just in there um, and so I thought I'd do a quick little video showing how to do that uh, so the C pillar has a little um, tab on the end which fits into that hole at the back it then has uh, two push clips on the rear side that push into these two holes here and then there's a little bracket and tab with an airbag cover that um, screws into that hole there so there's um, four attachment points and basically what you need to do is put the tab into the slot first um, line up the the pins here with the with the clips push them into place and then you can screw that last bracket down and put the little cover on the top but before you fit that you need to um, reinstall the rear seat belt uh, mechanism cover um, basically it just goes into there with two holes with uh, two of these little little push push pins and um, then there's that tab there screws into that hole there to hold it in place behind the um, behind the boot liner so that needs to go in first um, and that tab slides into this slotted hole so that slides goes in and slides across it um, like that to hold that into place so need to get that in first before you put the uh, the C pillar down now I've just added a bit of uh, foam to the back of that uh, which will cover up some of this wiring and stuff and they stop any rattles from there not 100% necessary so I'll go and install those now and show you the end result 
All right, that's the uh, end result when the C pillar is back in. So it uh, goes in, looks nice and neat, all done. Now ready to switch over and do the other side. All right, with the C pillars and the uh, re seat belt covers installed, the uh, next job is to get the re seats in. Um, but before I can do that, these are the carpet pieces that uh, go on the floor at the rear of the seats. So that's the part that covers the middle. And these parts uh, cover the two sides around the wheel wells. So I'm going to give them a good vacuum and a good clean up uh, before we put them back in the car. And then once they're in and fitted, um, we can put the seats back together. And uh, I'll show you how that works uh, once I've got the carpets in. Hey guys, so uh, I got the rear seat carpets back in. I uh, had to do some trimming around uh, this side um, just because of all the wiring stuff so the carpet wouldn't fit exactly perfectly. So I've just trimmed that in to fit. I uh, got the rear seat belts um, back in and uh, all the wiring is sort of tucked and, um, and ready to, to reinstall. Uh, so that is the carpets down, which means the uh, back seats can go in. Um, unfortunately, it's raining out there at the moment, so I'm in the car with all the doors closed. Um, but as soon as the rain stops, I will uh, try to get the back seats in. So, um, yep, another milestone, and I will come back and uh, show you how to put seats in a little later. Hey guys, so uh, getting ready to reinstall the rear seats. Um, so I'll just quickly take you through how that works. So on each of the seats you've got this bracket which uh, essentially bolts um, here with a T50 and then this shaft um, slides through the middle here and uh, connects to um, this bracket at the back and uh, and then this shaft slides into a hole that's just in here at the back of the uh, bottom of the rear back seat so with both of those seats bolted on both sides and the shaft running through the middle um, you're able to then click the seats into the locks up on the parcel shelf so uh, really hard <laughs> I can't do this with one hand so I'm going to go away and do that the tools you're going to need are a T50 as I said for the uh, for the side bolts a T40 for the bolt in the middle, or the two bolts in the middle, uh, and that's about all you need. Um, so I'll go away and do that and show you the end result. Right, so there we have the uh, two back seats in. Um, they're fitting pretty well. So now I'm going to get the side, uh, uh, the door cards in, and the speakers, and the bolsters, and the uh, back seats. Um, and we should have the back area all put back together. So I'm going to go do that, come back, give you an update uh, as uh, we get stuff done. Okay, so I'm uh, basically reinstalling the rear door cards. Um, the way these connect is once again a little bit like the C pillars. Uh, there's, a, there's a tab at the end of the door card that fits into a slot just in here. Um, along the top there are four uh, slots run along the top edge of the door card that clip into these clips and you'll see a little bump here that it, so these clips need to be sort of lined up right on that bump to be able to be lined up with the slots and then on the door card you have um, these pins clips one two three four of them um, that basically clip into uh, one hole here near the seat belt um, another one here one down the bottom of the door and then uh, another one here and then basically there are two torque screws one that screws into here and one that screws into here which is um, part of the door handle sort of grip mechanism with a sort of in there where the trim goes so uh, the trick is to get the get the 
uh, door card lined up with the slot first and get these clips in making sure that the uh, these clips these clips are lined up with the appropriate hole then it should just all press in together and just screw in the last of the um, the torque screws and uh, then I think you're done so uh, of course hook up your wiring <laughs> uh, plug in your your speaker wires your um, door butler plug and your ambient lighting clip wherever that is um, before of course you uh, fit your door uh, your door card so um, anyway enough talking from me I'll go put those in and show you the end result hi guys so uh, that's the rear door card fitted um, it was a little it took a lot longer than I uh, expected because I forgot to put in the seat belt B pillar and uh, then I had to undo the door all over again there's a fair bit of material in behind here so um, uh, uh, putting this screw back in just wasn't working so um, it's in pretty solid so I'm going to leave it there so uh, let me take you through the uh, driver's side and um, explain uh, what you need to do so the first step is to put in the uh, uh, the B pillar basically it goes um, in this way and there's a um, a clip on the back and this whole section basically clips into this hole there and um, and then sort of clips in, into the top um, like that so you've got to feed the seat belt through this hole first so that needs to go in first before you put in the um, door card so i'm going to do that now and uh, come right back all righty then so i've got that fitted um, it's important to just get the rubber window trim um, and make sure it's it's sort of on the outside of the pillar should fit up nice and flush here with the headliner um, that and then flush around that side and as I said this clip should be in this hole here and then there's this second hole uh, where one of the um, clips for the door card will go through at the top so that will also hold the, the pillar from moving as well um, make sure that you've threaded that through and when you put the door card make sure that the seat belt is on the outside um, made the mistake in the past of uh, trapping the seat belt behind the door card which uh, means you have to take it all off again so second door card about to go on um, and I'll come back when that's done okay we've uh, got the uh, back seat uh, completely in um, and the rear door cards and the bolsters still got the uh, center console or the rear console to go in but um, it's in it fits really snugly I mean really snug it was even a struggle to get the the bolsters back in properly but it all does fit um, you can see the various layers here uh, the butyl the mass loaded vinyl and then the carpet underneath that um, yeah so look I wouldn't want to be pulling that out every second day but that's in and looks great so uh, that will be the end for this episode, uh, covering the the rear uh, the rear seat area. That's all now finished, and uh, the last piece to do is really the front of the cabin. So, sign off on this uh, episode and um, join you on the next one. Cheers.